back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is trapping rainwater which is marked as a hard level problem and is a very common interview problem as well let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and each element of this array arr will be representing the height of blocks height of blocks you can say height of wall you can say anything you can say okay so let's suppose we are given this array 3010402 it means there is one wall of height 3 one wall of height 0 means there is no wall one um wall one wall of height 1 one wall of uh, height 0 one wall of height 4 in this way we are given several height of walls okay all right and what we have to do we have to tell how much water we can trap is between the blocks during the rainy season how much water i can trap between these blocks okay so total sum of water i can trap we have to return it okay all right let's quickly understand this with a test case as well so we have we are given a very good example here 3010402 okay all right and uh, basically if you will see this graphical representation as well pictorial so three length wall is there okay then there is no wall length okay then there is a length of a wall of length one then there is a wall of length zero then there is a wall of length four then again zero and then again two in this way we are given some length of i will say height of walls height of walls we are given okay let's write it as well three length uh, zero length one length zero length four zero two okay all right i think we, are, we are guys have got it now what we have to do we have to tell total amount of water we can trap okay all right so let's suppose i have a very very simple i have a cuboid type of thing let's say its left side is two length long okay two length long and its right side is four length long its right side is four length long so how much water i can store in how much unit of water i can store it um look if there is left wall is only two and right wall is four i cannot fill four i cannot fill four water four unit of water why because left side wall is only two unit the remaining two unit will be let's say going wastage so we, we, we cannot add and it cannot be stored so how much water can be stored at any point it is the left it is the minimum between the left and the right okay so at any point if uh at any point what is the maximum of uh, left and right's minimum i have to store that okay let me quickly tell you once again with this example so let's suppose i am currently at this point okay so what's the value here one okay what is the maximum value in the left side what is the maximum value in the left side and what is the maximum value in the right side okay for this one uh, left value maximum is three which is first wall only okay right side maximum value uh, is this four okay i will find the minimum of it find the minimum of this okay and that much water i can store maximum but let's suppose i have a wall of length one i have a wall of length one so how much i can store okay so minimum of three comma four is three minus current length wall is one so i can store two length of water here how let's see so this two length of water i can store in this in at that point at that point i can only store two length of water okay all right uh, let's suppose i am currently at this 10 i'm currently at this point uh, its length is zero okay on the left side i have a wall of length four unit four you can say and on the right side i have a wall of length two okay all right so how much water i can store look i have already told you um max let's say on the left side what is maximum four on the right side what is maximum two so how much water i can store i cannot store something like this i cannot store something like this i have to store the minimum of left and right minimum of left and right is what two so two is the maximum water i can store what's the current length of the wall so at this point there is no length of walls so i will do zero and i will get two so it means two unit of water two unit of water i can store at this point two unit of water i can store at this point in this way we have to find for the whole length and we have to return it. okay all right so what kind of solution is coming in your mind now i think the approach will be clear like how are we going to approach it so what's the 
code what's the thing which is coming in your mind first thing is very very simple at every point what i will do let's suppose i'm currently at this point i'm currently at uh, this point okay all right so on the left side what is maximum on the left side what is maximum is 3 okay on the right side what is maximum is 4 okay so length of let's say on the left 3 length wall is there on the right side 4 length wall is there how much i can store minimum of left length and right length which is equal to 3 and i will minus the current length of the wall which is at this where i am currently there and what's the that length of wall 0 so 3 minus 0 is equal to 3 it means we can store 3 unit of water at this point okay all right so uh, let's take one more example so basically let's suppose i am currently here okay so i have written the length as well and what i will do i will let's say at any point i want to get what is maximum in the left and what is maximum in the right okay because i've already shown you why i need that okay so what i will do uh, let's suppose l max this will be uh, the value of this will be the value of what this will be the value of uh, at any point what is maximum in the left what is maximum in the length at any point okay so for this zero what is the maximum in the left zero only on this one what is the maximum in the left one only on this point on this point what is the maximum one only now here it will be two okay again here it will be two again here it will be two again here it will be two so because what does this mean this two it means at this point what is the maximum in the left maximum in the left is this two okay all right so i will have written two here and then again i come to this point so here it is three okay and then it will keep on be three at any point it will be three okay and what i will do i will also calculate the right max it's very very easy to calculate the left max and right max so for this i will start from very last currently the maximum length is one so one it is then i have got a two length wall so i will update this to two again here i have like i've got not got anything greater than two so here also look here also what is the maximum uh, length wall in the right it is this wall it is this wall with height two okay all right so it's two again here also it will be two here it will be three and then it will be three as always it will be three everywhere something like this and then this then this and then this okay in this way so what i have done at any point at any point now i have the max value which is maximum in the left and which is maximum in the right and we have to just do few operations let's do that okay so for this point my left max is 0 right max is 3 so what i will do i will always take the minimum of left max and right max which is at this point is 0 so i don't have to do anything i cannot add anything to it okay now i will move to this point let me quickly delete all these things something like this now i will draw so that it becomes more clear so look i have not deleted this point okay let me delete this mm. yeah let's go then so now what i will do look first of all my current value will be zero i have i have iterated this point now i will iterate to this point so here what i will see what i see is here my left value is my left max is one my right max is three so what is the minimum of these two minimum of these two is what one only okay so uh, i will do something like one minus current height which is also one so i will again get zero i will again get zero okay all right now i will move to this point okay this is also done i will move to this point so here what i will get my let's say this is this is my okay what is my left max one right max three so the difference minimum i will take which is this one okay so i will do one minus and the current value is zero so i have got one length water which i can store i will add it to my answer that is plus one okay all right again i will move forward again i will move forward i reach to this point okay so here the issue what the issue is ki my left max is 2 my right max is 3 so what's the minimum of these two 2 2 minus current point current length current length is also 2 so again i will get 0 okay so this is also done 
okay now i will move to this point i will move to this point which is marked as here okay left max is 2 right max is 3 minimum of this 2 is 2 minus current value is 1 so i will get plus 1 and i will add it okay all right now again what i will do i will move to this point so again i will do the same left max right max between these two what is the uh, minimum what is the minimum 2 2 minus this time 0 is the current length so i will get 2 again in this way here also i will get 1 and here also i will get 1 so something like this 1 plus 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 is the total length of water i can store and i will simply return 6 this is our answer so very very easy it is what i will do i will simply make two arrays left max for to store all the maximum values in the left like the maximum value in the left till this point r max to store the maximum value in the right at that point and i will get our answer i think you guys can write the code for it so we are not going to write it but there is another approach as well which is basically we are not using extra space so in this approach which i have told uh, let's say we are making two arrays we are making two arrays with the one is maximum left and maximum right arrays and we are going to uh let's say get our answer but now what i want i don't want to take some any extra space so for that what i will do i have to take few variables now guys meanwhile you should try this approach which i have told to take a make minimum array and then try to get the answer okay let me delete all these things first okay moving on uh, now what i have i don't want to take extra space okay i don't want to take extra space so for that how are we going to proceed let's suppose at any point my left max and right max i have to take few two variables left max and right max okay both are zero for now and at any point it will be telling me what is the left max and right max i am not taking any array this time okay is which is both equal to zero i will take two pointers first one will be at the starting of the array and next one will be at the ending point of the array let me delete all this okay so this is i and this is j okay all right now what i will do i will first of all check at any point if my arr of i is less than equal to arr of j we are processing left otherwise we are processing right okay uh, because look we can only we have to only process a minimum one why i already told you ki if there is a wall with two length and four length what is the maximum water i can fill which is equal to the minimum of these two length okay so that's why here also if arr of i is less than equal to arr of j so what i am going to proceed what i am going to process i am going to process the left one which is i which is i okay so for now here we can see i is 0 and arr of i is 0 and arr of j is 1 so which i am going to process i am going to process this okay so what process i am going to do look here if i have got something which is greater than left max i have to update my left max so here also it is 0 0 so i don't need to do anything and after that what i will do otherwise uh, let's let's take one by one step so here my current value is not greater than left max so i will not do anything okay uh, i will simply increase my i so my i is this okay and j is this so arr of i and arr of j is same so i have to again process the i you can read the condition here i will again process the i so what i'm going to process in i is very simple i will check if my current value of i is greater than l max yes it is simply add l max update l max and we which means we cannot store any value and i will increase my i i will increase my i so my i is this at 5 percent okay my j is this okay so i is value is what arr of i is zero and arr of j is equal to one okay I think I've done some zero was there and one was there. Okay. Now again zero is there, one is no no and we are good. So again, how much water I can store? Look, yeah, its value is zero this time, which means I don't have to update my L max. I just have to add to my answer. How much I'm going to add my answer? L max minus current value. L max minus current value 
which is equal to one so i've got one okay again what i will do i will increase my i let me delete all these things again i don't want to delete this something like this and now again let's draw so yeah look how much i have processed i have got my answer which is equal to one what one this one okay so again i will process i i move to this point so arr of i is currently two arr of j is currently one so what i have to do i have to update my j update my j and uh, there are two values which i have already taken left max and right max so look 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 now i'm going to just explain the approach so basically first of all i will check ki arr of i is less than equal to arr of j if yes i'm going to process the i part do some conditions to it and process otherwise i'm going to process the j part okay all right now what process i'm going to do with i and j first of all what i will do i will simply check here if my current value if i'm processing left if i'm processing let's say left i will check ki my left value is greater than left my means current left value is greater than max left max i will update my left max because i cannot store any value because i cannot store any value here as well i cannot store any value here and then i cannot store any value here as well okay and after that if i have got something which is less than my lower max i will simply do what i will simply do my current value which is arr of i and which i will subtract from um uh, left max or right max respectively okay left max so in this way we are going to process and we are going to get our result i hope it will be a bit clear to you but when i'm going to write the code it will be crystal clear to you so let's move on to the code section meanwhile if you have loved the explanation if you have got the both two approaches please subscribe the channel and like the video because it will motivate me a lot and uh, let's first of all start so first of all i will use max is equal to 0 and after that look i have i am um, i make i'm making few uh, variables so left max will be telling me the greatest left value i have got till that point r max will be telling me the greatest right value i have got for that point okay and one more thing which i have to do is i is equal to 0 and j is equal to arr of something like this okay all right now what i will do i will simply use a two pointer approach while i is less than j uh for first condition which i told if you remember if arr of i is less than equal to arr of j we are going to process we are going to process what we are going to process the left side otherwise we are going to process the right side okay what process i am going to do if you remember what i told i will check if my l max is less than arr of i what i have to do i have to update my l max to i because i cannot store any point if i am getting something which is greater than it okay so something like this otherwise what i will do i have to increase my answer let's do answer here instead of max it will be answer plus equal to left max minus arr of i and i will increase my i as well. something like this okay so that we don't end up in a loop forever and same thing i am going to do with right max as well but this time what i am going to do uh, j is correct so it will be arr of j let me correct all these things and instead of left max it will be right max something like this and here i will be decreasing my j minus minus instead of i plus plus and i will come out here i will simply return answer let's quickly try to compile this and guys please sit with a pen and paper and try to dry run it try to dry run this concept try to visualize this concept i have already tried explaining it a lot and i hope it will be clear as well so let's submit it and if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video it will really motivate me a lot it is getting accepted and uh, download the chrome extension as well with which you can watch the tutorials on this screen only here so you can see a number of tutorials coming here the link is in the pinned comment make sure you check it out i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye